beautystyle dot com, a fashion and DIY blog where I teach you how to buy it, make it, mix it, and rock it. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy pencil skirt. It can be made in just a couple of minutes and you don't even need to have any sewing experience whatsoever. As a matter of fact, this would be a great beginner project if you've ever been interested in sewing your own garments. Let's get started. The first thing we need to talk about is fabric. This tutorial is for stretchy knit fabrics. You cannot make this skirt with non-stretchy fabrics. So make sure that you're using a nice jersey fabric that has a significant amount of stretch. You can also use a double knit fabric that has some stretch and I will link to the suggested fabrics in the description box below. I'm going to be using a nice purple jersey fabric that has a significant amount of stretch to it and what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have on hand some elastic at least three quarters to one inch wide elastic you're going to need some scissors you're going to need a marking pen or a chalk roller like this one a seam ripper uh, is always handy to have uh, you're going to need a ruler or a seam gauge. Now, a seam gauge isn't absolutely necessary, but it does make, e it does make a folding over and ironing your hems a whole lot easier. And, of course, we're going to need some pins. Now, we're going to lay out our fabric and get started. Quick tip about using needles. You want to make sure that you're using the right sewing machine needle for the right project. If you go to the store to look for needles, Every package will tell you exactly what that needle's purpose is. They will have specific needles for working with thin, lightweight knits, heavyweight uh, fabrics, woven fabrics, chiffons, um, just about anything you can imagine. So make sure that you're using the right needle for the right project. And when you buy fabric at the fabric store, it comes folded in half, either with right sides together or wrong sides together, depends where you buy your fabric but your fabric will be folded in half with the selvage edges uh, together and the selvage edge is that finished edge along uh, the length of your fabric so what I want you to do is I want you to with your selvage edges together and the right sides of your fabric uh, folded onto each other this is the right side, the side that people are going to see I want you to fold that and we're going to be working on the folded edge of your fabric so make sure that you flatten out your fabric. Now for this, I really only need one yard of fabric. And for most people, one yard of fabric will be sufficient. Depending on how tall you are, you may need a yard and a half. You're going to need to take two measurements. The first measurement is for your length. So you're going to measure from your belly button down to wherever you want your pencil skirt to end. I prefer my pencil skirts to come just below my knee. So I'm going to measure from my belly button down to below my knee. For me that measurement is 26 inches. Take that measurement for yourself and write that down. The second measurement you're going to take is around your waist. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape measure and measuring just above your belly button you're going to take that measurement. Don't pull tight, you just want it to touch. For me that's 26 inches. I want you to take your waist measurement and divide it in half. For me, that's going to be 13 inches, so whatever that is for you, that's the number we're going to use to make our marking onto our fabric. Now, you should have your fabric folded in half like you did earlier. And using your ruler and a chalk roller, we're going to take those measurements and transfer them to our fabric. So the first one is our waist, so starting at the top of your fabric, you're going to take that measurement. For me, that was 13 inches. Make sure you're using your measurement, not mine and make a little marking and then from that marking we're going to measure down 26 inches for my length you're going to measure down however long it's going to be for you now using your ruler you're going to join those two markings so you're going to make one straight line for the length of your skirt and then one across and then again at the top so you're going to end up with a rectangle 
Now there's two things for you to consider. If you don't want your pencil skirt to be very tight, you want a little bit of wiggle room, then what you want to do is you want to add a couple of inches to your waist measurement, maybe two to be safe. That will make it a little looser. This pencil skirt is intended to be very fitted on the body. Now, now you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut around this rectangle. Now using your pins, I want you to pin this edge together before we take it to the sewing machine. Now you always want to make sure that you pin because pinning avoids your fabric from shifting, especially when working with two layers. You want them to be both together as you're sewing and so pinning will help you keep more control of your fabric. Just remember that you have to remove your pins before you get to them. You never want to sew over a pin. Now that I have the back of the skirt pinned together, this will be the back seam. We're going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to sew one straight stitch from the top all the way down to the bottom. Now here's a quick tip about working with knits. Sometimes your sewing machine will have a tendency to want to eat your fabric when you're working with very stretchy knits or very thin knits. And so we start to sew and what will happen is the needle will push the fabric down into that little hole and it'll get stuck and then it just becomes a big nightmare to try and get that out. So what I do is I keep a pad of tracing paper near me at all times when I'm sewing with knits. And before I start to sew, I place this under my fabric and I start to sew with this in place and then I just remove it afterwards. I'm going to show you how to do that on the machine. Okay, so what I do when I'm working with knits is I place my tracing paper under my presser foot and then I put the edge of my fabric where I'm going to start to sew over the tracing paper and I align it using my marking here. We're going to be using a half inch seam allowance. I'm going to put my presser foot down. I'm going to start to sew and back stitch. Remove your pin. Now once you've passed your tracing paper, you can leave it on there until you're done and then quickly just pull it and remove it. Now I'm keeping my fabric aligned at the half inch mark. Now before I get to the end, I don't want my needle to push my fabric through the little hole and get it jumbled up. So I'll take a piece of my tracing paper, put my needle down, lift my presser foot, and just slide my paper underneath and continue to sew. Once you're all done, just tear away the paper. And you're all done. That will never get caught in your plate again. Now we're going to press that seam. So what I want you to do is just uh, lay your seam flat and open. And you're just going to do a quick press. You just want to set your seam and you want to meld your threads.
Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the elastic and attach it to our waistband. So grab some elastic and you want to cut your elastic one inch shorter than your waist measurement. So you're just going to measure your waist just like you did with your uh, tape measure. Not too snug, it's just touching. And then you're going to cut that excess off. And then once you have that, I want you to cut off one extra inch. Now we're going to sew together the ends of our elastic and attach them to our skirt. Okay. You're going to overlap your, your uh, elastic just about a quarter of an inch. And using a zigzag stitch, you want to sew up and down just to secure the ends together. Get to the bottom and then use your reverse button. secure it together. All right, we're going to turn our skirt right sides out and we're going to fold it. Here's the seam. We want to mark the front of it. So we know that the center back seam is the seam that we sewed and so we want to make a little marking. So what I'm going to have you do is fold your skirt and then you're going to take your scissors and you're just going to make a tiny little snip. And I mean tiny. Now we know the front marking and the back of our skirt. Now we're going to take our elastic and folding it at the seam, we're going to make a little dot on this other end. Now we know where the back of the elastic is and where the front of the elastic is. So use a little marking pen and make a little dot. We're going to stretch and pull a bit while we're attaching our elastic. So using the seam of your elastic and the seam of your skirt, I want you to put your skirt through the elastic there. And then we're going to pin. Yes, we are pinning on the right side of the fabric. So take your pin and pin it there. And then we're going to match that little slit that we made with the other end of the elastic. Now we know that that's the front of our skirt. So find that little slit that we made and we're going to pin there. Now we have the front and the back. Now we're going to pull as we're sewing. So as you can see that the elastic is smaller than the skirt, so as we're sewing we're going to be pulling and attaching the elastic. So what you want to do is take your pins to the sewing machine and starting at the center back we're going to sew a zigzag stitch all the way around. If you have a removable arm on your sewing machine, I would suggest removing it. It makes it easier to attach your elastic. Now starting at the center back seam, we're going to put our presser foot down right at the edge and using a zigzag stitch you're going to zigzag just along the edge and you're going to pull your elastic as you're sewing. Remove your pin and pull the elastic, not the fabric, just the elastic. Now we've reached the center front, so remove your pin and you're going to pull and sew till we get all the way back around.
it should look like this. So you're going to take your elastic and you're going to turn it to the inside, like this. And then, if you don't want your elastic to move on you or to come up while you're wearing it, you can just tack it down to the back. You just put it under your sewing machine, just do a quick little tack. And that'll prevent the elastic from shifting. Now when you wear it, it'll be turned in like this. Now all that's left to do is the hem of our skirt. So now we're going to sew our hem, and so an easy way to do it, so that uh, it's even all the way around, is you can turn your skirt inside out, and we're going to turn over 5 eighths of an inch, and so what I like to do is I like to place it on my ironing table like this and using a seam gauge, but you can also use just a regular ruler. Mark the 5 eighths of an inch on your seam gauge and then you just place it along the edge and press. And then every couple feet or inches you can just make sure that you're still at that 5 eighths of an inch and press. And I do this all the way around. That way when I take it to the sewing machine, I know exactly where my hem should be. Okay. We're going to start at the center back seam. And the hemline, since it's been pressed, it's nice and flat. And so what we're going to do is you're going to be using a zigzag stitch, not a straight stitch, because a zigzag stitch will stretch with your fabric as you're pulling it over your body. If you use a straight stitch and then try and put your skirt on, the stitches will pop. So make sure that you're using a zigzag narrow stitch. You're going to sew all the way around. Now you turn your skirt with the right side back out and take a look at your finished work. Very easy to do. I'm going to go try it on and show you how it looks. I hope you have enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial and I'll talk to you guys again really soon. Peace.